Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the dictator matchup. I feel like this is a video that a lot of people been asking me for. I've been getting a lot of feedback. People have been telling me, man, can we please get a bison matchup? Uh, how to fight bison, how to deal with bison, what's the bison barog matchup? Overall, I feel like this matchup is 5-5. Most barog players would probably say that it's in bison's favor, but really and truly, this matchup is highly momentum-based. Whoever gets the pressure going first is gonna really dictate the uh, flow of the match. So really and truly, it could go either or. Um, <clears throat> not much to really say there, so let's just go straight into it. Like always, V skill one. I prefer v trigger one for this matchup because i really and truly want to touch this character and kill this character but sometimes depending on how the bison plays will determine also my choice of trigger so if i have like a very turtleish bison i'll go with v trigger two but if i have like a highly offensive bison that likes to push buttons then i want to go with v trigger one so it really just depends on which bison i'm actually fighting to be honest with you but just to be safe v trigger one So yeah, y'all. Overall, y'all may y'all may not believe me when I say this, but really and truly, in this matchup, Bison has to come to you. Yes, Bison has to come to you. And why? Bagdash is so important in this matchup. And I'm gonna go over that a little bit later. So first off, the general spacing, as always, is around standard fierce range because Bison has swipe, which is his down forward, and his standard fierce. So playing in your fierce range and also light straight range is a very good spacing for this matchup. Always want to uh, do straight into back dash. And once again, I'm going to that a little bit later. So first, let me show y'all what I'm talking about real quick. So it give y'all a general consent of what I mean. Fierce and oops, my bad. Down forward fierce. Two more some of his problematic buttons, right? Along with, I'm gonna go ahead and throw standard medium kick in there also. Three real good buttons. So basically, yeah, this this is the general range that you wanna play at. About right here. And as always, EX straight. EX straight will forever be your best friend when it comes down to whiff punishing most moves in this game, really and truly. Like, you could never go wrong with EX straight. Nine frame start up, forward advancing. Can't go wrong with it. <clears throat> Oops, missed time that one. And then, even if you don't get the whiff punish, you just came in plus one on block. So, it works both ways. Can't go wrong with it. So. Let me get into why Bison has to chase you in this matchup. So, say I do light straight into backdash, right? Bison has to guess on if you're going to backdash or not. So, let's say for an example, I um, hit Bison with a straight, right? And I'm going to record him doing... I'm gonna do standard fears first. So say they try and react with standard fears, right? So I do that and then back dash. Boom. I just I just chipped him down and then got away for the free. It's it's too good, alright? Now let's say I do record guard recovery action. Let, let's say do something a little bit faster, right? Crouching medium punch. It's much faster than uh, standard fierce. I got away free. Now, if, if I stand there, if I stand there, of course he's going to hit me. But if I back dash, I get away for the free. So, what does this mean? All right. So, say you back dash X amount of times after light straight, right? So, now he's like, okay, he's, he's going to keep dashing. So now he has to commit to EX scissor kick, which is the way to chase somebody, right? It's one of Bison's go-to ways to really chase somebody. 
So boom, say I do this and into backdash. Oh, I just got caught because I tried to backdash. So how do you beat that? So this is the mind game. You do that, and now you just stuffed it. You just stuffed it with standing medium kick because standing medium kick comes out much faster than EX. Now keep in mind, after EX, no, my bad. After light straight, you are negative four. But because he's doing EX scissor kick, which is, I don't even know what the startup is, but I'm assuming it's either eight to nine frames just to take a wild guess. Standing medium kick is a six frame startup, I believe. Six frame startup, and it stuffs it easily. You need to get a standing jab if you want to be really sure since standing jab comes out faster. Now, I believe another chase move for Bison would be his swipe, if I'm not mistaken. It should be his swipe. His swipe should be another chase move because of the range. Oh no, you get away for the free also on that too. Oh wait, no, it depends on spacing, my bad. So boom, if you space straight correctly and they decide to commit to that, you get to punish it. Just like that. But if you, well, I mean, you should never be doing a straight this close anyway, but within this range about right here, I think you would have to commit to a jab because this range, I feel, well, if if you space it right, you could backdash, but if you feel like you're not in the right spacing, but you've been playing my games with them the whole time, you could just commit to a light jab right after. All right, so that is why Bison has to come to you because backdash is so key in this matchup. Once you make them worry about if you're gonna backdash or not, they have to start guessing on how they're gonna approach you. The same thing with his offense. Let's say Bison do some frame traps, right? So I'm gonna record him doing, hold on, let me turn these off real quick. I'm going to record him doing, roundhouse into crouch medium punch. Very common, right? Very common frame trap. Roundhouse into standing medium, crouch medium punch, my bad. So, right after he do roundhouse, you can backdash. Backdash. You don't have to respect none of this. So, what does Bison have to do, right? He has to change his offense. Now, since you put back, <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Now that you didn't put backdash into defense that good, he now has to do roundhouse into swipe or roundhouse into EX scissor kick because he has to guess on if you're going to backdash. Oh, wait, my bad. Even swipe misses. Wait, hold on. I think I just. Oh, I just learned something. Oh, okay. Oops, my bad. You could backdash the swipe in that situation too. Okay, so he has to commit to EX scissor kick or he has to commit the slide. So Bisons have to play real weird in order to chase your backdash. Like this is just how much of a guess Bison has to worry about. And even so, if they decide to commit to roundhouse into low forward, I believe the low forward will clip. The low forward should clip the back dash. If I time it right. Okay, no, my bad. Okay, so after any roundhouse, you're able to back dash for the free. After any roundhouse, you're able to back dash for the free. So now Bisons have to do something like. I believe this is a legitimate frame trap that actually stops backdash. Yeah, so if you try and backdash after the swipe, why aren't you doing it? So depending on spacing, if you get hit with a swipe up close and they decide to stand and light kicking into light blast, that will stop backdash. 
that will honestly stop backdash. Now, if they do swipe into low forward scissor kick, you will you will float. The swipe after that will cause you to float, and then you can punish like that. Like Bison really has to chase you. Bison has to chase you. Backdash in this matchup is so important. Like I, I cannot stress that enough. Another hole that I see Bisons get away with is that they can do uh, standard Ferris into Heavy Blast. That is not a real setup. It is not a real setup. You could be skill spin through that. Light Blast and Medium Blast are the only two Blast setups that stop V Skill Spin. You can go for the overhead, but they have time enough to either block high or low. So you can spin and cause them to guess if you want to, but really and truly, you could just go with the uh, V Skill Turn Punch for the plus two situation for a tick throw or a high low mix. What else? What else is that a cover on this matchup? Um, Devil's Reverse? Okay, yeah, Devil's Reverse. I, I feel like this move can actually get some people if they're not ready for it, right? So, Bison has two ways of being able to approach you. He can either hit you, then run away, or he can hit you and then come back. I enjoy... Hold, hold on. I kind of suck at setting this up at times. I, I'm not a Bison player, y'all, so excuse me if I make a couple of mistakes right now. Right? There's that. And then there's... Oops. And then there's... And then he can run away, right? So, there's two options. There's two, there's two ways to stop this. Oops, my bad. I forgot it's a high. You could anti air like that. If he does well, depending on what the bison do, air to air is the best way to stop both options. If they run away, then that's perfectly fine. You you don't take no damage. But really and truly, going air to air is the best way to really deal with this. Um there's another setup that they do, but I don't remember how to actually do it but there's another one I can't quite think about right now um oops right the instant air this is a legitimate you have to either block high or anti-air as soon as you see him go up cause if, if you miss time it by a slither you're getting hit even standing jab is kind of tedious. So you got to have godlike reactions in, in order to stop that. I suggest just blocking high. If you got the timing like that, you can get it. But overall, I suggest just blocking high. But overall, y'all, I feel like that is the matchup for Bison. Uh, when it comes down to the general neutral, you want to bait swipes. You want to stay at that range to where if you feel like he's going to swipe, you'll be able to whiff punish it. Or even if you're in this range right here, you could just back dash and then have him feel like you're in range for it. But, but really and truly, once you back dash, it'll miss. Um, bully with straights, bully with straights, and bully with straights. Uh, mixing your straights with back dash, mixing your straights with some buffers because you feel like they're about to commit to a, a chase. This character has to come to you. Because if you realize, the more you chip him down, that's 20 damage just off a of straight. Like, he's getting chipped. You have 99 seconds to fight Bison. There is no need to rush this matchup. Rush this matchup. I, I apologize. So, yeah, y'all. Hopefully, this guy was found helpful. If y'all enjoy, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave some comments down in the feed. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section below if you have any concerns. Uh, follow me on all social medias. All the links are in the description. And yeah, y'all stay safe and see y'all in the next one.